today I'm going to be reviewing this King Song S18 and this review is actually going to be broken down into six areas and they're all going to be scored out of five. So the six areas is going to be portability, design, overall performance of this wheel, the ride comfort, the value and who is this EUC really for? So the first area is of course, it's going to be that portability factor. You have that nice hidden handle as you can see and it's actually quite sleek as well. It's, it's built into the body of the EUC and it actually looks really well. I think it's probably one of the best looking EUCs out there. You just prop the handle up one part and you can lift it up the stairs very easily. And then of course you can fully extend that as well. If you're going into a shopping market, it is 25 kilos in weight. So it's not too bad for most people. And for that reason, I'll definitely give it a firm score, four out of five. The reason why I wouldn't give it a full score, five out of five, is because that that handle, it doesn't feel really sturdy enough. And sometimes I'm afraid of breaking it or actually bending it itself. Design. I think it's one of the coolest looking EUCs out there. That back suspension makes it look like something from the future or something like that. And it's so sleek looking. And of course you have those power pads there that one ride fitted. And they just fit in so well. It's not like an ugly looking EUC compared to some of the ones out there. The front lights on it are really nicely built in. The charging part is nice and hidden, just under this flap right here. The backlight itself looks really sleek also. Like I think that my in-motion V8S looks nice but I think that this wheel looks 10 times better. So for that reason, I'll definitely give this a five out of five for the overall design of it. I mean, come on, it does look cool. Let me know what you think of the design of this S18. Overall performance. Okay, it's not the talkiest wheel out there and going up hills and that doesn't seem to be really an issue. But I think from the torque standpoint, it's quite decent, it's not crazy. I know I've never actually tried a like Bagode EXM, any crazy wheels like that, not yet then anyway. But I think from myself, this just being my second EUC to actually kind of review and test, I can't compare it. But I think the torque is more than enough that I would like. I wouldn't like anything more crazy at this moment in time. The only thing I would actually be a little bit worried about would be basically if I was in a lot of traffic going off at traffic lights. So if I was at a standstill like this. I'm not sure. Like if I was in a heavy traffic area, would I be able to get ahead of the cards from a safety standpoint? There is a hill up here. So let's go and just test out that hill and see what it's like. The maneuverability, just while we're on our way to the hill here, it's quite easy because it has an 18 inch wheel it's not too big and it's it's actually not too bad to turn tight corners so we have a little bit of a steep hill here let's just see <laughs> yeah it's not too bad not crazy but it'll definitely get you up there for that reason from the torque perspective mainly I'd give it a three out of five I think if I had a little bit more, you'd feel that little bit more confident in traffic stops and pulling off at a junction a lot more safely. Ride comfort. I am so happy with the comfort level of this. If you missed out on my, the first things that I noticed about this EUC when I did actually receive it from one ride, go have a look at that video. But basically, to cut long story short, the suspension on this, the air suspension, that 18 inch wheel, and those bigger pedals have made my EUC experience personally absolutely amazing. I, I was so shocked at how I would love the suspension on this. You can of course lock the suspension so that if you don't want it, you can just have it as a normal EUC like my in motion, for example. I can't complain at all. And for that reason, I would absolutely, hands down, from the suspension to the pedals, give this a 5 out of 5 
from a comfort standpoint. The value. This is not expensive at all. This is around 2,000 euros. If you do want this wheel, by the way, there's a nice discount below. I'm really considering getting a wheel just like this. I mean, for 2,000 euro, you get a wheel that has really cool suspension. <laughs> you get a wheel that is so nimble. You get really, really comfortable pedals. A nice 18 inch tire. Front lights that are pretty cool. A backlight that is absolutely amazing. In my opinion, in any way, it's worth every single penny. I'll give it a five out of five without any hesitation whatsoever. But I suppose the ultimate question would be, who was this wheel actually for? Is it for a beginner? Is it for somebody that wants to step up from a smaller wheel? You know, it's a, it's a bit of a tough one to be honest, but I think for myself, that was a beginner that still has the Emotion V8S. And I think from a price standpoint, a spec standpoint, performance standpoint, comfort standpoint, I think this wheel is kind of like the middle ground. It's not too slow. It doesn't have crazy spec either. So it's definitely in the kind of middle area. So I think if you are somebody that had like a Inmotion V8, V8F, if you're somebody that has like M10-3, that type of wheel, I think this would be a really nice step up for you. Of course, it's not like a Big Old Master. It's not like the King Song S22 or, you know, something crazy like that. So it's definitely in the middle price point, the middle performance range. And I mean, yeah. I honestly can't fault the wheel at all. It's absolutely a fantastic wheel. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more reviews. And thank you, by the way, on helping me reach that 5,000 subscriber mark on YouTube. I started this journey over two years ago, and I do this in my free time. I try my best to get better with every single video with the audio, with the editing. I try and improve my skills to make it more enjoyable for the viewers. And for those of you who have been here since the very, very beginning, thank you so much. I'm gonna be really up in the content, trying my absolute best to get more EUCs, to get more scooters, to get basically wherever I can that I have an interest in and that you would have an interest in. But thank you again, stay safe, and yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this wheel a little bit more, and I'll talk to you in the next video.